Hello everybody, welcome. Today we are bringing back our Hot or Not series. It has been a while since we've done a Hot or Not series episode. Today is gonna to be the day we're bringing it back and it is gonna be Wings today here at Epcot. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I am so excited for this episode. It's been so long since we've done a Hot or Not episode. Um, I'm not a big fan of hot food. I love hot She food. is. <laughs> she likes the hot. So it's a nice yin to the yang, yang to the yin, whatever. Um, she loves hot. I don't love hot. I'm all about the flavor. So I like, I'm okay with spicy things, but I want it to have kick butt flavor. And so our Hot or Not episode, we evaluate foods on four different criteria. The first thing is visual. How does it actually look? Does it look appealing? The eyes, before you even take a single bite, the eyes are already in motion, already telling your brain whether or not it's gonna be good before you even sink your teeth into it. The next criteria we evaluate is smell because whether or not something is hot or not, it's gotta smell good. We've had some things that have been kinda of hot, but they smell bad, so overall they're just not a hot item. They're definitely a not item. Then we come in and we check out the heat factor. What's the heat index? What is it on the Scoville scale? How hot really is it? How spicy? I usually tap out pretty quick. She keeps it going. Her eyes will be watering. I'll be laying on the ground crying. That's just how it goes. So it's gotta be hot, hot, hot for it to really register in our Hot or Not episodes. And the last one is gonna be flavor. Does it actually taste good? It's not okay with me if it's just hot. It's gotta taste good too. Otherwise, it's a complete waste of time for me. I don't want to just be mouth burn. I want it to taste good and be kind of spicy. I like a little bit of spice and taste really good. She likes a lot, a lot of spice, but it's still got to taste good at the end of the day. So let's get going. Today's episode, we're going to the brew house here at Epcot. We've actually never been to the brew house. They replaced a really cool exhibit that was in there yeah. with the brew house. They brought the brew house in there. So it's gonna be a lot of different types of wings. We're gonna grab some of them. We're gonna see, are they hot or are they not? So let's head over to the brew house. If you're not familiar with the brew house, it's in that little building that's kind of between Test Track and the World Showcase. It's through that little bridge area. It's kind of that building that you don't really pay much attention to. It's kind of, I kind of view it as like, you probably know it as the building that you walk through to shortcut from the World Showcase back over towards Test Track. It's usually air conditioning. It's kind of a shortcut over on that side. Um, now the brew house is new. Uh, they've got wings there. They replaced some stuff there. It, that building went unused for a long time. And then eventually they added sort of that little exhibit to show you coming soon attractions. And then they got rid of that. And so now it's the brew house. We've actually never tried it before. But I can say one of the things is that it, every time we've walked through there since they created it, it smells terrible in there, doesn't it? I mean, it Brussels smells sprouts. bad. I love Brussels sprouts, but man, they smell bad. It's because they have Brussels sprouts. We're not gonna do the Brussels sprouts, I don't think. Unless you wanna get some on the side, I don't think they're gonna be hot. But unfortunately, I like Brussels sprouts too, but man, they stink, and they smell real bad. They smell that whole place up. I would stop smell selling the Brussels sprouts in there just so it doesn't smell so bad, because I just don't think, I don't know, I don't know why it stinks so bad in there. That Brussels sprouts are, they don't smell good. Now the fastest way to get to the brew house is to cut through the Connections, Eatery Connections Cafe here um, and head over towards Test Track. Plus it's air conditioning in here so it feels really good. Now there is Club Cool over here too. We might just stop in there and get a quick drink because I have a feeling my taste buds are going to be on fire after this. So I'm going to need a pregame with a little bit of, uh, little bit of soda, a little bit of drink. Cleanse my palate, get ready for the war on the taste buds check out the new cups for club cool was not expecting this check this out <laughs> look at it it's a it's literally a bowl it's a bowl it's not even a cup i think um and i was like wow this holds a lot actually this is like it's almost like a martini glass this thing's huge um but i did ask i said hey what's up with this what's up because they're handing these out they're not like sitting over there they're not um, like in the little cup holder things. You actually have to get one from a worker. So I asked them, I said, what's up? Is this a new standard? You know, are we limiting how many cups people get for some reason? 
um, or did you run out of the regular cups? They said, yeah, we just ran out. They ran out of the normal little cups. This is not the new standard, unfortunately, because again, this carries, this holds way more, so I was kind of down for this. It's a little awkward to carry, so it's like, it's a bowl. Uh, but this is not the new standard, unfortunately. They are going to be bringing the regular cups back. They just ran out. They actually said they even had some this morning, um, but they ran out again today. So um, they said for the next few days, it's probably going to be bowls for a lot of people. And then when they eventually get more cups in, it'll return to that. So but I just figured I'd call that out. It's kind of cool. We made it inside the brewing. Uh, this is sort of the area where you would grab the food. I mean... I should say eat the food, hang out. It feels pretty good. I actually liked it a lot better when they had the display in here. There was like these circular walls here and they had all this like upcoming new things. It was like cool projection mapping and video screens. I thought it was really cool. I don't know why they decided to um, change it to this because I feel like they didn't need this much seating. Every time I've been in here, it's been empty like this. It doesn't matter what time of day, it's always just like this. So, But my favorite thing in this place is the garbage can. Talking garbage can from the electric umbrella is here. All right, let's grab some food. So right here is the menu. Um, they've got six different types of wings, it looks like. And it looks like they have a mild, medium, and hot as far as how spicy these are. I was kind of hoping to try the traditional buffalo wings because that's just traditional buffalo flavor, but it looks like those are only medium. So I think we're going to go with the two hot ones, quote unquote. And we will find out if they're hot or not. All right, we got two different wings from Brew House. Uh, we got both of the ones that were listed as hot. <laughs> I really wanted to try the medium ones because they were traditional buffalo and I love buffalo flavor. That's your favorite flavor, I think, too. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, this is a hot or not episode, so we had to go with the hot stuff today. I'm a little bit worried. We'll see because it smells really hot. You know how you can smell heat? I feel like you could smell hotness. And uh, the guy we were buying them from, he did say, like, he said one is, is hotter than the other. I said, give us the hot ones, and he, and he said which one it was, and I said, I want two, so then he gave me the second hottest one, too. He was going to give me two of the same one. I was like, no, give me two different ones, because I want to try the hottest, the hottest ones you have. So I think we'll start with the milder ones. I think they're going to be milder. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm surprised, because I thought these one, th this one would actually be spicier based on the description, but uh, it is none other than, um, and they do have um, celery on them. I'm just going to take the celery off to make it easier. Just move the celery away, move the celery away. Uh, so the first one that we have is the oh, yum. Oh man, them, them, them some good looking wings. Them, them some good crispy looking wings, I ain't gonna lie. I can't stand when wings are not cooked all the way or they're like plumpy. Dude, don't even talk about You know, they're like thickness. I like when they're like smaller wings and crispy. Um, I don't like when they're mush. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. They look awesome. So these are the dry rubbed jerk spiced wings with papaya chili sauce. And all the wings come with celery and ranch. But I'm a little bit worried. These are the dry rub. Anytime I see the word jerk, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous. Um, but I do love jerk seasoning. I love jerk seasoning on chicken too. I used to make my own... Um, jerk chicken. I found this amazing seasoning um, online that was like um, it was the closest I've ever found to being able to make chicken at home that tasted like yeah. the jerk chicken in Jamaica. Actually in Jamaica. Um, so I have like a hair on me or something. I don't know what's happening. Go away. Um, so let's give it a rip. I'm going to rip in. I'm a little worried. Grab one. Look at that. Look at that seasoning on there. You see that? Can you see it at all? Hopefully you can see it. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys. You can't talk back. All right, here we go. Here we go. They're cooked well. They really are. Like burnt, a little overdone. But we like them that way. Yeah. What do you think? Well, what do you think? Just overall, like, did you like the taste? What do you think? I Good. like the taste. Pretty decent? Um, I like the way it's cooked. I don't really think it's that spicy, though. It's not hot to me at all. Mm -hmm. I, and I'm a wimp. <laughs> They like that, good, that's though. that's about as hot as a Grippo's barbecue potato chip. Grippo's are hotter. I, mean, my, my, I think they are hotter, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They are hotter. Yeah. That's not that's nothing. The flavor's really good though. No, it is. Um 
So I don't know. I'm Some gonna people have to... might think they're dry, but I prefer them yeah. dry. So if you don't, then you wouldn't like these, but that's my favorite kind. They're way dry. dry. <laughs> they're way dry, yeah. like they were cooked. I feel like they were like cooked 10 minutes ago, which I like. Mm -hmm. I like when they're like a little overdone, a little crispy, a mm. little burnt. I don't like when, like I just said, I don't like when they're succulent. Ew. Succulent wings, no go for me. Um, okay, so overall, so again, we're going to score this on, this is, this is kind of, I don't know. This isn't, um, I like the flavor, but it's not hot. So let's do the scoring. We got to do the math. We got to do the math. So again, four criteria we're gonna we're gonna measure these on. We're gonna score these, and it's gonna be visual, smell, heat, and flavor. So let's start with the visual. Visually, do they look appealing? Score one out of ten. What do you think? For wings. Uh, for wings. For me, um, a ten because they look dried up, and that's the way I like them. I'm gonna give it a ten. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give it a ten too. I'm with yeah. you. I'm giving it a ten. I feel like from a visual perspective, yeah. they look perfect for me. I like how they have, they look like they have a little bit of sauce on them, mm -hmm. but they also have that like crusty rub. dry rub on there. I mean, I, again, I wish, hopefully you can, let's see if you can see. You see that like crispity dry rub on there and it's got a little bit of sauce, you know, so it's a little wet, but also dry and, yeah. and the color is dark. I like, it's got to have, uh, wings should be dark color. They shouldn't be like white. So I like the visual. And they're the right size, I think it's a 10, 100%. 10 out of 10 for visual. And then from a smell perspective, you know, honestly, I didn't even really pay much attention too much. I don't know, what do you think about the smell? The smell, I would give that like a five. I don't really like the smell that much. Yeah. And it doesn't have a strong smell. I'm gonna give it like a six. Yeah. It's, it, um, it surprisingly doesn't smell as jerk as I was expecting. Yeah, it smells like cayenne. It smells a little, it almost smells sweet too. I don't know. It's, it's got like a sweet, peppery. I smell cayenne pepper. Yeah, cayenne pepper maybe scent. So you gave it a five, five and I gave it a six. Okay, so let's move on to heat. Heat factor. Uh, I give the heat factor a zero. It's not hot. You can't give it a zero. Oh. One to ten. One. It's not hot. I give it a one. It's not hot at all. It's not hot. No. That's that's very disappointing to me. I feel like I should go back up there and be like, I'm these aren't hot. I'm surprised they had the red thing by them. The yeah, red like, pepper. Because there's like a scale. What does the medium and mild the taste like? The medium orange, and I feel like the other one's green, maybe. The, me the medium traditional buffalo wings probably just taste like butter. <laughs> they probably do. Butter. Not hot. Because that's a one for me. So, really, wow, it's for the Hot or Not episode, that one scored a definitely <laughs> low number. And then overall flavor. Um, overall flavor, I give it a seven. I'm going to give it a six. Yeah, I feel like it was it was decent flavor. I thought it was good. I think it would have been punchier, but I, I do like, like it. it. does have a little bit of the jerk flavor, and I love jerk, so I feel like it's 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 okay. Not, not bad. So, <laughs> six. All right, so that was a little disappointing for our first wings at the Brew Wing. Um, overall, scoring it out. So just to go through the math, we both gave it a 10 for appearance, for visual, 10 out of 10, both of us. We gave it a 6 and a 5 for smell. We gave it a 1 and a 1 for heat. And then we gave it a 6 and a 7 for flavor. Overall, that averages out to a 5.75. Not too, not too high. So <laughs> I'd say officially that particular <laughs> wing, whether or not it's a hot or not, it is most definitely a <laughs> not. This was a fail. This was a not. Yeah, it's definitely for sure. a not for hot. Definitely not. But, but it is tasty. But it is pretty tasty. Yeah. It just don't expect it to be hot. So <laughs> if this was not a hot or not, not episode, I think these actually would have been really good. Yeah. We probably would have gave him like a seven or eight overall, maybe pretty, pretty decent wings. I would get, I probably would even get them again. Unless they had better ones up there, and then I might get something different. But for hot or not, it's a 5.75. It's a not. <laughs> oh, wow. No good. Um, but the good news is we have a whole other set of wings to try. So let's move on to the ones they actually said were supposed to be hot. These are both supposed to be hot, but this one's supposed to be the hottest. We'll find out. We'll be the judge of this. And it is none other than... The Sriracha Lime Wings. Uh, sriracha. Man, these look these look even. Man, these look good. Um, now, I don't know if they actually have lime on, in them. If it's like lime flavoring, we're going to find out. But it did come with 
a lime. So I'm going to leave the lime on the side for now, but then maybe do a little spritzer, a little spritz um, after we taste them to see if maybe the lime is supposed to be like spritzed on it and there was actually no lime in the, in the wing. All right, check this thing out. Um, it looks pretty good. Doesn't, I don't see any like real dry rub or anything on it. It really just is like a saucy wing. Let's give it a rip. What do you think? It's spicy. But you don't realize it at first. It like catches up with you. I mean, I'm not like freaking out. It's not like spicy, spicy, but it's definitely spicy. And it's like sriracha. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. A little, a little flustered, a little flummoxed. It's definitely starting to creep up a little bit. Yeah. Starting to creep up. I think if I have, yeah. Starting to creep up. All right, so let's do it. Let's run the numbers. Overall, um, what do you think from a visual perspective? Hmm. Uh, visual perspective, visual? Uh, nine. Give it a nine? Yeah. I'm going to give it a ten. Yeah, I must give it a ten. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have any of that like dry rub on it. You know, yeah. it doesn't have any of that crust, but it is like the right level i love when a wing is a dark color yeah and i think it, and it's actually a really pretty dark color it's like a reddish orange you can tell that the, the wing is done really nicely and crispy it's a small wing again everything that the other one had going for it it's really got going for it, it just doesn't have the crusty stuff on it which i like it it's got enough sauce too so i'm gonna i'm gonna give it a 10 visually yeah so uh 10 and a 9. what about the smell let's do the smell smell test wow I don't like the smell. Um, I don't dislike it. I don't hate the smell. I just, it's not my, I give the smell a four. Yeah, I'm going to give it a five. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't smell like a wing to me. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know what it smells like. It's it's it smells sweet. It's, it's like a sweet smell yeah. to it. Um, so I'm going to give it a five. You gave it a four, I give it a five. All right, so then heat. Comes down to heat now. Uh, what do you think from a spicy? Spicy. I give it a six. I'm gonna give it like a four. Are you? Yeah, I just didn't think it was spicy. My mouth is still spiced. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I definitely got it, but to me, that tastes about as spicy as a, as a Grippo's barbecue potato chip. If I eat like three or four Grippo's potato chips, that's about how hot my mouth feels. Especially if it's like the bottom, like the really dusty Grippo's barbecue chip with all the stuff on it. Well, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> they're good and they're hot. Um. Yeah, I feel like it's a. I feel like it's a four. I feel like it could be. I mean, it was starting to heat up as I ate the whole wing, but I go back and I think of that um, Nashville hot chicken oh, yeah. that we did, the Bruno Mars hot chicken uh, that I kept calling it. That was hot. Like I took like one on taste time. of that and I was done. Like I, it was a walk off for me. So to me, I just think this is like a four. If I would have ate the whole basket, I, my I, my nose would be running. Yeah. I'm not getting anything, honestly. I didn't even have to dip into the celery and ranch, which is like the cooling agent. All right, so four to six. Um, and then moving on to flavor. What do you think of the flavor? Um, I give it a six. I think it's a six, too. I think it's a six flavor-wise. Yeah. They're fine. Overall flavor was fine. I could, I could definitely eat the whole thing. Oh, yeah. I like sure. sriracha sauce, too. So I'm su <laughs> surprised that um, I didn't like the flavor more. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? I didn't taste the lime. It just tasted, it tasted like spicy, but like a little sriracha but I didn't taste lime, did you? No. Maybe we need a spritz. Okay, let's do the spritz test. I said we were going to do the spritz. Okay, let's do the spritz test here. I'm going to do a little bit of the lime spritz on it. There we go. I'm going to do a little on mine. See if it makes a difference. For me, it made a difference. It made it worse. Yeah, I didn't like it. You didn't? No. It kind of tastes like ketchup a little bit. It tastes like sriracha. And ketchup a little bit, and that one tastes like sriracha ketchup and lime. The lime ruined it even more. I'm not kidding. I almost it made it, it a weird flavor. I almost give it a five. That made me. It went down. With the lime, it went down for, to me to, for like to like a one. Yeah. I did not like that flavor. And I love lime juice, by the way. I put lime juice on everything. I just squirt a whole bottle of that stuff, like ten whole limes on everything. I feel like that time it tasted more like ketchup. I did not like it. Okay, so the lime test was a fail. 
Let's just keep the original scores because I don't want to jade it. Okay. Because we it tanked the line tanked it. I just want, I should just ate the whole line because that would have been better. So let's keep the original scores. So we both set a six from a flavor perspective. Okay. So overall, to wrap up, um, the sriracha wings from a visual perspective, ten and a nine. Um, for the smell, five and a four. You like that one even less than me. Uh, from a flavor perspective, or I mean from a heat, from a heat perspective, four for me and a six for you. I'm surprised that I scored it lower. But I just kept thinking of the Nashville hot chicken. I couldn't even yeah, get it close to a 10. That. And then flavor six and a six. Mostly dodgier with the lime. Um, and overall, that's a score of a 6.25. That's only a .5 more than the first one. I feel like I that's like about the, right. Heat-wise, that's true. Flavor-wise, the other one's better. I feel like the flavor on the other one was better, <laughs> the and the heat on this yeah. one was better. But that one's heat got a the, that one's heat tanked it because it got a one. Yeah. That hot. that wrecked that one. That was off the table because of that. But this one's a little bit spicier, but not as good. Yeah. So wow, six point two. So that's a, that's a knot. That's a that's a knot. Six point two five. So no good. Two knots. I actually was not expecting that at all for the brew wing. Yeah. Especially when there was levels of heat. I actually kind of was expecting that. Were you? Heat. Yeah. I, I thought for sure that. because they had multiple heat levels. Because nah. usually... When usually, I saw what it was, when I saw it was sriracha and jerk, I was like, well, that's not going to be hot. Yeah. And I wasn't. mean, well, that's... I mean, yeah, but we had the ghost pepper over Universal, and that wasn't hot at all. True. That was just salt. Yeah, I don't that think was they can have like I'm pretty super hot. Stuff. I'm pretty sure black pepper chicken. is spicier than what the ghost pepper seasoning <laughs> over at Universal was. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought because usually at Epcot or Disney parks you get hot stuff and it's it's just like normalized for everybody. It's not really hot, but I thought for sure because that had like the mild, medium, and hot, we were actually going to get something that was hot. Maybe even like maybe just one of them really hot. Nope, not so much. <laughs> two two knots. Man, this is a this was a tough episode for the hot or not, but it was still fun. We had a lot. We had a blast. Overall, I think the brew wing experience is actually pretty good. The wings are good. I I, I feel like all the wings are going to be pretty decent. Yeah. Um, but they're just not hot. So if you're looking for like hot, spicy wings, not so much. Not the place. But flavor wise, they're pretty decent. Just don't put the lime on it, and no, you're okay. And you do get celery and ranch. These are seven dollars and fifty cents for I think like six wings mm -hmm. each, and celery and ranch. You get two. Um, Celery sticks about that size and ranch. So for seven fifty, I don't think Sorry, that's that bad bugs. for wings. No, it's not. Um, and overall, pretty decent, just not spicy. So there you have it. Thanks for joining us for this hot or not episode. We're gonna keep doing more hot or nots. We kind of took a pause on hot or nots for a while. We're gonna start bringing some of them back because I think there's a lot of food, but it's hard to find hot things in the parks. But we're gonna keep searching. So if you know of anything that you think is hot and spicy and we need to try, even if it's not at Disney, if it's somewhere or Universal, but somewhere around the Orlando area. Um, or even one of the places that we tend to go, let us know, because I want to try them. Um, I will cry, she will <laughs> smile, and that'll be that. But thanks again for joining us. Again, until we see you next time, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.